Hello everyone, my name is Dave, and in this video I'm going to show you how to create a simple rendering library using C++ and OpenGL. It can create a window, set the background color, and draw rectangles and ovals of different sizes and colors. So how does drawing the shapes work? Imagine if we wanted to draw a rectangle on the window. We can specify its position and size. There are many ways to do this but let's use the upper left coordinate to define its position and a width and height to define its size. All the dimensions will be in pixels. With OpenGL, the Windows coordinate system is in normalized device coordinates. This means that the origin is in the center of the window, the bottom left corner is x equals minus 1.0, y equals minus 1.0, and the top right corner is x equals 1.0, y equals 1.0. We can create two triangles that form a rectangle together. That is the size of the window. Its upper left vertex will be at the origin, and its bottom right vertex will be at 2.0 minus 2.0. We know the width and height of the window in pixels, and the position and dimensions of the rectangle to be drawn in pixels. By dividing the dimensions of the rectangle by the dimensions of the window, we obtain the scale that the OpenGL rectangle should be drawn. If all its vertices are multiplied by this scale, it then becomes the correct size. Note that because the upper left vertex has a position of 0, 0.0, 0, 0, in the OpenGL coordinate system, it doesn't move. Only the bottom right vertex originally at 2.0 minus 2.0 does because it has non-zero values for its coordinates. This is on purpose because we decided to use the upper left coordinate to define the rectangle's position and a width and height to define its size. If you wanted to define it differently, for example with a center position, this would have to be changed. Given that the rectangle's position in pixels is defined from the upper left corner of the window, the OpenGL rectangle needs to be offset by minus 1.0, 1.0, so that its upper left vertex equals this position. Then the rectangle's upper left position in pixels can be divided by the size of the window and multiplied by two to compute the final offset for the OpenGL rectangle. Now that the OpenGL rectangle is in the correct position, it simply needs to be drawn with the correct color. To draw ovals slash circles, we can build on top of this. There are many algorithms that can be used, but let's keep it simple. The overall idea is to compute the distance from the center of the OpenGL rectangle to each pixel fragment that will be drawn on the screen. If that distance is greater than a maximum specified distance, don't draw that pixel fragment. Realistically, given that computer screens have a finite amount of pixels, it will have pixelated jaggy lines that don't look very nice. Therefore, to improve it, Let's specify a small amount of distance after the maximum distance, where the transparency will change from 100% to 0%. Let's also specify an offset to the maximum distance to control where this change in transparency starts. As you can see, it looks much better this way. Let's take a look at the code. The vertex shader outputs the position of the vertex stored on the GPU multiplied by the scale for the width and height of the rectangle, offset by the upper left corner of the rectangle. It also outputs the position that will ultimately be used to calculate the distance from the center of the rectangle to each pixel fragment. Recall that the upper left position of the vertex for the rectangle stored on the GPU is 0, 0.0, 0, 0, and the bottom right is 2.0 minus 2.0. This means that its center is at 1.0 minus 1.0. While we could just output these vertex values directly, they will eventually have to be offset so that the center of these coordinates is at 0 .0, 0 0.0 to calculate distances. Therefore, let's offset it by minus 1.0, 1.0. The fragment shader has a switch case statement that checks an input variable called shape type. It then calls the correct function to draw the desired filled shape, with the default being the rectangle. For the rectangle, all that needs to be done is to set the color of the pixel for the fragment to the draw color. For the oval, it starts by calculating the distance from the pixel fragment to the center of the rectangle. 
note that it's 1.0 minus the distance plus an offset of size pixel divide 2. This way, pixels close to the center have high distance values close to 1.0, and pixels far away have lower or even negative values near the corners. To compute the alpha, the distance is then divided by size pixel and clamped to be from 0.0, .0 to 1.0. This means that the oval will be opaque and its edge will transition to 0.0, .0 .0 over the distance size pixel. If the alpha is 0, 0.0, or at least very close to it in the case of round off error, call the discard command so that its pixel isn't drawn. Then output the input draw color, but modify its alpha with the calculated alpha. The C++ code that sets the OpenGL uniform variables and draws the triangles is shown here. It's the same calculations discussed in the previous presentation. Note that the size of the pixel is approximate. It's the average of the width and height of a pixel for simplicity. It represents what portion of the OpenGL rectangle represents one pixel on the screen. The final result, where a few rectangles and ovals of different colors and sizes are drawn, is shown in front of you. Well, that's it for this video. All the source code is available on my website. Link is in the description. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you in the next one.